in my video yesterday, I premiered this new overpowered eco strategy, and you guys absolutely loved it. So today, I'm going to use it again, and I end up coming across an engineer player. So let's get it. Guys, we are against Hey, I'm Koru here on the map. Um, Santa time, so I'm bringing the strategy Dartling, Ice, and Village here with Azizi. So let's get it. So I know, I know I used this strategy in my last video, guys. So I'm sorry I'm using it again, but I had so much fun in my last video playing it. And I think there's actually some like, um, it could be an argument that the strategy is actually one of the meta strategies in the next season because farms are getting heavily nerfed with the um, banana central nerf and the nerf to spaced eco is going to nerf farms a ton. So it means eco strategy is going to be stronger as a comparison. And this is one of the best eco strategies in the game. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very excited for this one. So they're showing with their ice tower there, which ice is not really a tower you see people we'll start with too often. So I'm very curious as to what they're bringing. We got Smudge Katazili as well. All right, all right. See you. It'd be like Heli Ice, but I feel like with Heli Ice, you normally bring Churchill, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we got our Dartling and our Azili round one, and then we'll get my um, Ice to help stall these rounds pretty soon as well. Be the next plan here. That'll be the next plan, but um, everything should be pretty solid here for us, I'd imagine. Let's get my Ice Tower right up here. That's the Ice Spot, and we'll get Permafrost on it as well. And basically, the plan with that, as always, is just to Permafrost those AI Balloons. I come out and then when they come out of this permafrost look at it they're slower basically that means i'm going to pop them much later and the round is going to get stalled more often oh it's got to be boomer it's going to be boomer sub ice here right there's boomer and ice yeah got to be boomer sub ice here but it's interesting that they have smudge cut as easily here because normally with that strategy you will bring um open so looks like they're switching it up a little bit but i'm guessing it's boomer sub ice there's nothing else that really would make sense to bring here Let's target my dartling away to stall this round out. Perfect, perfect. Put this on first for a shot. Just pick that up. Nice. Put it back on last. Beautiful. The reason I'm having this on last, by the way, is so then um when these AI balloons come down, so it's just targeting the synth balloons, so it's not popping these AI balloons basically. So it helps me stall around a little bit there. But he's gonna be anti-stalling now that they got their ricochet up, so I don't know if my stalling efforts will even mean much here if they're full anti-stalling anyways. I mean it still means a little bit. Like two people anti-stalling is gonna make the round shorter than only one person anti-stalling, but it, I can't stall the runs fully if he's anti-stalling, if that makes sense. Also, I did just leak those lives because I'm bad at targeting, but good. Put some green balloons now. Uh, we need to get our powerful darts against his green balloons, and then we should be fine. And then next round, we send space blacks as the plan. And then we'll both send a lot of um, grouped yellows after that. Kind of like the eco route you normally take here. Yes, sir, yes, sir. He sent me space black balloons. I think I'll probably need to get my faster barrel spin here, so we're just going to do that. But then the faster barrel spin in the ice tower should be able to handle constant yellows, which is pretty nice. All right, they're getting their ice down. They don't really need it, though. I mean, their ricochet is going to handle constant yellows pretty well. Not sure if they need that ice tower right there, but I guess they want to go for it. Send them yellows. I'm guessing they're going to do the same thing on me. Yep. As I said, we should be fine against constant yellows here with our dartling and ice combination. Nice. The ice actually helps out quite a bit. Look at this. 12.46 pops, and then it goes again. 12.86. So that's 40 pops per... Um, 40 pops per attack there if it's hitting old enough balloons, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice there. Especially for its price. It's a pretty cheap tower, you know? So it's like 40 pops for a cheap price. You know, I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, we'll sw start to space deco a little bit. Do need to save up for another the Dartling in case this enemy zebra is next round. They got the cryo cannon up. Interesting spot for the cryo cannon, I've got to say, because you don't really... Normally the cryo cannon somewhere in the middle, and plus normally people don't even go for cryo cannon. They go for the, um... What's it called? The Morgue Laves, so. This guy's taking an interesting route for sure. A very interesting route here. All right, get this round stalled. Look at my eco, by the way. Dude, our eco's insane right now. 1,074 in round nine. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, he's sending me some regions. We're gonna use that hard stopper ability. Get another Dartling down. Get this to a Cryo Cannon. Down strong, Permafrost. We're vibing, we're vibing. Should be able to get this icicles up here pretty soon. Alright, we got our icicles up. Nice. See, I don't I think it's just cheaper for them to go for go for more glaives here than go for a whole um boomerang and their ice there. It just it's interesting to me why they did that. This is very interesting to me. We'll continue eco going here. Because why the heck not? And I know I could send them I might send them a camel zebra rush, but the thing is it's gonna produce icicles from my normal Okay, now we send camel zebras. But, oh, it's actually not going to do anything because his Azili will pop the ze one of the zebra layers down and then the ice shards will um, now jump from those balloons, basically. Oh, it's put the cold snap on that. 
Yeah, some of the Camel Zebra Rush won't actually do anything because the Z they will pop the Camel Zebras down. They're actually fine with their current defense unless it's in like a really big rush, which I'm not really interested in doing at the moment. So we'll just uh, we'll just let them be. It's actually smart that they have a Zeely there because if they didn't have a Zeely there, they would have been dead against Camel, Ze Camel Zebras. But the Zeely kind of clutches up for them there, which is interesting. Spike Factory. So it's Boomer Ice Spike Factory. Very interesting there. We do have the life lead. Oh, they have regeneration with their lives, though, with um, Smudge Cat, so we need to... I forgot about that. Okay, so they're actually... They'll actually have life lead, but I don't think they defend late, dude, with their strategy. They just... They'll just get obliterated late. They will just get obliterated late, so I'm not too worried. We just need to survive, basically. We need to survive, and we have a really good eco, so I think we're in a good spot to survive here. We have a great eco. Okay, there's gonna be some zebras here. The powerful darts on the second one. Should be able to handle pretty well. Yeah, we're Gucci, we're Gucci. No totem needed. Also, let's target the totem a little bit lower so it hits all my dartlings, I think. Perfect. Next thing we want to do is get a village down as well, which will place right about here. Yeah. Okay, sending me some region zebras. Go for a regrow blocker here. Monkey commerce, nice. And that'll be a um, monkey city and monkey town and stuff later, basically. Is the plan there. Okay, sending me more region zebras. This man with his rushes, bro. And it's gonna do nothing. Yeah, you need some like humongous rushes to get through. I don't know what his, his obsession is with regrow balloons. He's gonna be regrow yellows as well, man. This guy loves his regrow balloons, I guess. All right, almost 3,000 eco right now, which is fantastic. Let's get our monkey town up. Not strong. Get some more dartlings up. Get towed him down. Should be able to handle. Done first. Wait, where'd the totem go? I swear to she's the totem. We got boost, we got boost, we got boost, we got boost. Okay, that was I, I I used the totem and it just didn't appear. Like I it was normally the totem stays for like 20 seconds, but the totem was gone like instantly there. That was kinda weird. That was a little weird there, I'm not gonna lie. Can you get an ice tower down? I can get an embrittlement if I need it, but I don't think I need an embrittlement here. We're good, we're good. Alright. It's just a little scary. We'll send them Zebra Eco now that I got my um monkey city up. Now we send Zebra Eco for a while. The Zebra Eco is faster than Pink Eco and will help stall the rounds more because now his Morglaves can't pop these AI balloons right when they come out, guys. So it's like double purpose there. Dual purpose, you'd say. It's a cold snap on this. Deep freeze, Arctic wind. So now these balloons are slowed down even more. That ice range. You can sell some of those dartlings. What I actually want to go for inside of this as well is a, um, what's it called? A refreeze with enhanced freeze because this will per permanently stall ceramics in the range. You'll see what I'm talking about later when ceramic AI comes. But it's pretty broken. It's pretty broken. We actually don't want to pop this BFB next yet because um next round we will be able to use the Azili yeah. level 10 ability to pop it down, which will be nice. Azili level 10 ability will come in clutch for us next round. Watch. You, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're Gucci. We're Gucci. Uh, maybe I just I'm scared that I'm not popping this BFB fast. The round's not going to end. I just I just upgraded level 10. Oh, it is round 23. I didn't even notice. It is round 23. All right, we'll be good against this. Yep, perfect. I thought it was round 22 that entire time, so I was waiting to upgrade. All right, send me a ZMG now. We'll get this to an embrittlement. We'll get some more dartlings up. I think we just straight up defend these. Get up the buckshot in the in the, the narrow denial system, and this should be able to shred pretty well. This should be able to shred pretty well, especially with a totem in here. Especially with a totem in here. Perfect, perfect. Now guys, believe it or not, this is going to sound kind of weird because like you've never seen... People don't really use this upgrade at all, but one sec. Let's get Snowstorm up here. Something I'm going to go for this game is... Oh wait, that's boost. Okay, we're good. I, did, I don't know if I needed a boost. But something I'm going to go for now is actually a um, Monkeyopolis. It, gives, it costs $15,000 and it gives you 2400 per round. Now, that might not sound smart because it's like, Ryan, that takes like seven rounds to pay for itself back. Well, first of all, we're probably going to keep it up for seven rounds. But second of all, it's not actually $15,000 because when I sell it, I only lose about $4,000 from selling it, which means I technically only keep it up for two rounds for it to be worth, which I'm easily going to keep it up for two rounds here. So actually, it's like a mini farm, basically, which you can get with eco strategy with the village in it. So it's a slight tip if you are going in eco strategy that you can go for that monkeyopolis. But yeah, look at the look at this ice tower do work on those ceramics. It basically stalls these infinitely and keeps this round really long for us, which is so good. It's so good for us here in this round long. 
Okay, send me DDTs. Alright, we can just get the Impale here. We'll be Gucci. Alright. They spent a lot of money on those DTs as well. They spent a chunk of change on those slots right there. A chunk of freaking change. Our eco is looking phenomenal though. Like 7,300 eco in round 26. That's a really good spot to be at. That's just the ice stall basically. Ice stall does that for us here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get a... What's it called? A Blue Nero Monkey Intelligence Bureau right here. And then we'll get this to a MAD later. And then this will be a Bez later. That'll be our defensive structure. This guy's about to die to AI. He's got to be careful, bro. This guy's got to be careful. These AI Moabs are like pushing P, bro. They're pushing P on him. Looks like they're good. They're good. Okay. Hold on. Almost 8,000 eco. Really happy about that. They got their impale up. Okay. There's 8,000. Maybe go to like 9,000 eco or 10,000. I don't know. I really wish they didn't have smudge cards either because we could definitely GG them around 40 here. 100% we could GG them around 40, I think, this game. But. They have smudge cats, so they're gonna get 150 lives back. All right, they're sending me some ceramics. We just got a blue narrow denial system here, and that should be able to shred these ceramics pretty well. Yeah, we're good against those. Little ceramic rush right there. Little ceramic rush right there. How much has this guy made me? 9,600. See, it's already made me 5,600 off sell because it costs you lose like 4,000 from selling it. So definitely worth getting this village up for some extra moolah. Definitely worth. I could have maybe gotten up sooner as well, but kind of forgot about it for a little bit. But yeah, these ice towers are so good at stolen these rounds, dude. These ceramics just get stuck in those forever. It's perfect for us. It's literally perfect. All right, where's our 9,000 eco? Oh, 9,001. I messed up. I messed up, ladies and gentlemen. I messed up. All right. And I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm a G. So sorry. All right. Next thing I want to do is actually just sell this village, and we're gonna go for a. Primary mentoring, and then this is gonna be a super brittle. A bunch of blue narrow denial systems in here. The blue narrow denial system, when you have the um super brittle, is better than the plasma accelerator, guys. So that's the preferred cross path. You that's the preferred one you want late game if you have super brittle with it. Also, these these ZMGs are gonna do absolutely nothing. I don't need homeland defense or boost or anything here. It's just not gonna do anything against us. It was a pretty small rush. We shred. We obviously do want to get homeland defenses later. Um, which we can micro over here. But yeah, at the moment, I th think it's better just to do this stuff. Alright guys, it is now around 37. We have a whole defensive structure made up with a bunch of blue narrow denial systems. A super riddle to double their damage. A B, a blue exclusion zone, and an MAD. A homeland defense. Primary mentoring. So then these are buffed. Got some snowstorms down, so he's gonna place on the water, and we can snowstorm micro insides. And yeah, we're about to send them a start, send them a rush next round probably. Um, see if they counter. I don't think they're defending much, even though they have super brutal and some spike storms in the super, in the super mines. I still don't think they're gonna do much here. So, we'll have to wait and see though. We'll have to wait and see how this plays out. I think my plan with the rush is actually gonna send some ZMGs first, and um, or maybe I send some BDs and then ZMGs on top. Basically, the ZMGs are going to help break up all the spikes that come out with my um, BAD rush. I think that's the plan for me sending them here. So, so another BAD. We'll send some ZMGs behind. Send another BAD. Some ZMGs behind. And we'll send another BAD. And we'll send some ZMGs behind that. And we'll send another BAD. And we'll send some ZMGs behind. And basically, the ZMGs kind of tank for the um, BADs here. Because of the spike, all the spikes are going to be eaten up from those ZMG rushes that the BADs are. Yep. And he's countering. And this is going to do nothing. <laughs> Look at my defense, bro. Literally nothing would have went through this. Nothing goes through that, bro. Nothing goes through that. He's sending me ZMGs. Those ZMGs are going to be gone here in a second. Yep. That is a G freaking G, ladies and gentlemen. I will catch y'all in the next one. Let's get it. Alright guys, our final match of the video is Purple Dolphin 17. We're on Dino Graveyard here, which I'm not sure how good this strategy will be on Dino Graveyard, specifically because I don't really know if the Icicle, um, the icicle is going to be very strong here. It looks like the Ashiko and Engineer, this is actually going to make it really difficult for me because they are going to be making lots of money from my Eco Balloons. So, this is kind of like the hard matchup here, but um, you know, if we focus up, we might be able to win this, you know? So, let's not count ourselves out just because they're going Engineer here. Let's not count ourselves out, alright? We just gotta buckle down, you know, buckle our beat seats and um get this. Get my Azili down as well right there. Perfect. 
Or actually, I don't even know if I want to place my Zeely right there, because that's like the that's where I normally place my Zeely when I have engineer my strategy, but I don't have engineer here, so I don't really need to place it in the same spot necessarily. But you know, that's where we placed it. You know, it doesn't matter that much. That is where we placed it. But yeah, I'm thinking I'll place my icicle somewhere around here. But again, I'm not really too sure because I haven't. Where do I place it up here? Does that even reach over? Is the question. Does that reach over if I place the icicles up there? I'm not too sure about that. Let's get my um stole stalled um ice spot right there and also we're going to keep our dartling targeted this direction which seems weird but um it's going to help these rounds be longer for us if i have to wait to pop these balloons all the way around here so keeping these rounds longer for us is going to be very very helpful for me so i think keeping my dartling target like this is going to be the best option here the best option for us the powerful darts perfect should be fine against this and this ice tower is going to help me stall these rounds out as well and he can't really anti-stall at the moment because he only has that double gun going so they're not really going to be anti-stalling too much in these early rounds, which is nice for me as well. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I place it up here. No. Or maybe I place it right here. I th right here might be a better spot for my icicles. Yeah. We'll go right here. We'll go right here. Okay. Go right there. That seems like a fine and dandy spot for us. Fine and dandy spot. Start sending green balloons next round. They're going to get their trap up next round as well, I assume, so... It will be starting to make some solid money for me, but I'm definitely going to eco in their trap. You've got to eco in their trap when you have an eco strategy, guys. You just have to bite the bullet and eco in your trap. If you don't do it, then you're going to lose the game because you're not going to have any money. So, yeah. You just got to eco in the trap in these scenarios. And eco with camel balloons, by the way, is not smart. Um, You're spending more than two times the money on your eco. So, it's don't eco with camel balloons. I've seen people do it before. It's just not, it's not the move. Don't do that. All right. All right. We'll send them some black balloons now. Perfect. They're going to be making a lot of money, as I said before, but nothing can really do about that. We just got to make sure we have a lot of money as well, because if we have a ton of money late game, we can defend pretty much any rush they send at me. So we just need to make sure we can have a lot of money, and their game plan here should be um, to try to drain me and anti-test all these rounds once they get their farms going. Because if they can make sure we don't have a lot of money late game, then they're going to win in no matter what, basically. So, yeah. But if we can make sure we have a lot of money, then um, we're going to be solid here. We're going to be solid. Go for another uh, dart thing right there. Should be fine against these yellow balloons. Yeah, we're perfect. Alright, keep sending these yellows at them. Our eco's phenomenal, not gonna lie. These rounds have gotten stalled a really good bit, because we have almost 900 eco in round 7 here, which is fantastic pace. That's really good pace for us. So, I'm happy about how our eco's doing here. Alright, we want to get um the second dartling upgrade a little bit. He's probably gonna send me zebras next round, I'd imagine. So, we need to prepare for that. The powerful darts on the second dartling. We'll send them um, zebras next round as well. We have to get faster barrels on the second dartling as well if he sends me a rush. So, that's the plan. Yeah, he's sending me zebras. The faster barrels on the second dartling. Should be able to fend this pretty well. Oh, we did leak some balloons for the first time in the game, but we're fine. With cryo cannon here. It's not going to do anything against these zebras, obviously, but we still need it. We might as well get it up. Our eco is really good, guys. We might be able to win this game if I can continue this good eco train. Because look at this 1200 eco in round 10 is fantastic pace here. Our eco is phenomenal right now. He hasn't done a very good job anti stalling. We're sending them a rush this round. Okay, they got double trap up. Well done. That should be able to fend for them. Wait, icicles up on our side. We should be fine against that rush. Perfect. We'll continue ecoing at them. Gotta make sure to target my dartlings away from these balloons. So then these rounds are getting stalled a little bit more. Unless he rushes me, obviously. But at the moment, they don't seem to be rushing. At the moment, they don't seem to be rushing me. They're ecoing right now. So they're gonna play pretty much high money game here, I think. Because they're not really rushing me too much, but I don't think rushes would even do anything. We have two 0-2-2 dartlings with an icicles, and that's a really strong defensive structure right there. It's hard to get rushes through that. It is hard to get rushes through that. Plus, we have um, Totem as well in regrow blocker. In case they rush. We're almost at 2k eco, which is fantastic. Alright, there's 2k eco. We're on a really good pace here. I like where this game's going against Engineer. Uh, Next thing I want to do is get that Monkey Town roll in here pretty soon, so... We're going to have to um, we're gonna have to clear that obstacle. I want to place it down here. So it makes dart future dartlings cheaper as well. We're going to place the dartlings. And we'll place it like right about there. Our eco is really, really good. Um, Yeah. 
So I'll get the monkey business, monkey commerce here, and then start saving for the monkey town. I also want to get this to a snowstorm later as well. But I think we prioritize getting the monkey town and monkey city before I upgrade this to a snowstorm to help stall rounds. I think that's the order I want to do stuff in here. That's what we will do. All right, one more income boost, and I'll get this monkey city, monkey town up. We'll see if they send me any um, Moabs. Doesn't appear so. Okay, I've got the monkey town up. Nice. We'll get this monkey city up in a little bit. They actually did knock it. Okay, are they going straight for Banana Central? They might be going straight for Banana Central here. But, which they should be able to get Banana Central like round 19 or round 20. Like a really early one. With their... Yeah, round 19 Banana Central. There's, I mean, it looks bad, guys. It looks bad. Like, that's amazing farms. But our eco is good as well. And in scenarios where we both have more money, that actually favors me. So, um, we should be fine here. We're going to start e Zebra ecoing at them. We'll balloon boost these as well. It's going to help stall these rounds out and give me some more eco. He has to be careful to not die against this as well. The zebra eco is kind of scary sometimes. Zebra eco can be kind of scary. Get um, this to an arctic wind pretty soon as well. 4,000 eco. We're doing really good on eco right now. They aren't anti-stalling at all, which is fantastic for me. There is like pretty much no anti-stall going on right now, which is exactly what we want here. I think here we go for a... Let's target the totem a little bit lower. We go for a buckshot here. I don't want to slow down my eco with getting this defense up, if possible. Do not want to slow down my eco. The narrow denial system, totem. Should be fine here. Yeah, we're good. Refreeze on that. Nope, we didn't get any of those. Wait, we got one up here. All right, we need to get these rounds stalled again here. All right, we're fine. These rounds should get stalled again here. We can sell us icicles as well. So then these balloons don't get popped and they come all the way around. All right, next step in the agenda, ladies and gentlemen, is we want to get this um, monkey off of this up, as I said last game. Monkey office will help us out here for these um for this money making. The monkey office will be nice for us. Again, they have amazing farms. We don't we don't worry about their farms. We only worry about my eco here, ladies and gentlemen. Do not look at their farms. Monkeyopolis, beautiful. These rounds should be getting stalled really well for me. They're actually ecoing into my trap, which is interesting. There's so many black balloons right now. Not really sure if that's gonna do anything. A Monkey Intelligence Bureau as well, so Icicles can pop lead balloons. Because I want to get the better cross path on my Icicles, which is enhanced freeze here. So if I have the MIB, it can still pop the um, DDT rushes, basically, is the idea there. They got their triple XL up. Hold on. All right. Reviving. We'll switch over to Pink Balloon Eco now. It's around 26, so I think this is a good point, point to switch over. We can get this Icicle Impale up as well, which I'll do right now. 7,000 Eco here. 7,500 eco. We're on a great pace here. They got up an ultra boost, all right. So this guy's playing. This guy's playing for late. They do have the life bleed, but the thing is, I don't. Their strategy can't defend round 40. I'm telling you right now, their strategy can't defend round 40, even though if they have max defense. So if it comes down to that, we'll rush them and they'll die. Even with ultra boost. I don't know what. I think they're ultra boosting their trap right now, though, which is surprising. Oh, they're gonna dartling down now to ultra boost it. All right, fair enough. Another village, believe it or not, which will have primary training on it and primary mentoring. Okay, he's sending me lots of lows. We'll go for the balloon ex exclusion zone there. Fine against that. All right, we have saved up $240,000. We are on round 37 here. He hasn't sent me a rush yet. He's still ecoing, which is not smart because game's in end round 41. So your eco is not going to pay for itself back in time, I'm pretty sure. I probably could have went for like 10,000 eco though, because I, I think I stopped ecoing too early as well, so I also made a mistake there, but um, yeah, our plan is, I probably start sending round 38, I think. Round 38 is probably a good sp spot to start sending him. Big problem with his defense right here is he's not going for any 4th tier dartlings. The 5th tier dartling club with the overclocks and stuff won't be able to defend everything, even with the ultra boost on some stuff. He should... If he really wants to try defending, he needs to start spamming down like a lot of plasma accelerators and blue narrow denial systems. But he is not. All right, we'll sell that village now. Get another dartling down in that range. Three hundred thousand dollars. Another thing is when I start sending BADs, I am going to lose my eco, so I do want to make sure that we wait as long as possible. So then I keep keep getting this nine thousand dollars every six seconds is very important. These help out stall this round so much. Those ice towers. Okay, we'll start sending them. A mix of fortified and normal the plan.
We will need to micro this homeland. Come on. Okay, he sent me a humongous rush. I don't think he can defend mine though. If I can defend his longer, then we win. We won. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Let's go. We beat Engineer with an eco strategy. Let's go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, see the like and subscribe. Move forward. Bye, my out. Peace, lads.